speaks to uh, the ongoing struggle, this idea that imperialism is theoretical, it's not, it's very real, and it's lived, and it's ubiquitous, and, and it forms our everyday. Um, and personally, what I felt is it's a sense of dismemberment and not knowing where you kind of belong and trying to locate yourself. I grew up in an estate um, that was called Havelock Estate, which doesn't exist now because it's been gentrified and it's become a village. But um, <laughs> it was named after a general in Punjab who had subdued uh, the Punjab, and I, that's where I'm from. And there's a large population of Sikhs that live in South or that live in Havelock Estate. So I don't know if it was a Sikh joke, whether we were ghettoized and put into that community, <laughs> but I think a lot of this um, conversation is about us taking control of the narrative, of the, the terms of the conversation, of the terms of defining our history with our own voices. So thank you so much for coming. And I'd like to say something, one more. You mentioned Singh. I should say that there's a very famous Mao Mao fighter and supporter who was a Singh. Mm. <laughs> they, they later on came to the family of the Joginder Singh, the race car drivers. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So these are all hidden history. We don't know enough. They still enough. But again, from more resources, from people I know who knew them. <coughs> so, very good. Thank you very much.